I'm Autumn Ivy. This is Fears to Fathom Iron Bark Lookout. Now, Iron Bark uh, Lookout is an attachment to the Fears of uh, Fears to Fathom series. This specific one is about Jack Nelson, a 24-year-old fire lookout transferred to a new post. As he settled into his new home, he couldn't shake the feeling that something was off. Little did he know he was transpiring down in Iron Bark State Park. We've played a couple of the other Fears to Fathoms previously, um, but I do like these. Uh, I'm not good at them, and some of the decisions I make are trash, but I figured it would be something fun to play. You can also find this on Steam, so let's give it a go. All right, let's see what kind of horse shit we can get into. Fears to Fathom is an episodic psychological horror game where each episode unveils a short story narrated by the ones who survived. You are playing episode four, fifth episode coming soon. If you have stories to share, please send it to fears to fathom stories at gmail.com. Hey, I noticed you were requesting story submissions while I was watching a YouTuber play Fears to Fathom Carson House. What I'm about to recount happened when I was 24 or so at the time feels kind of weird telling anyone about this because this of this bizarre and absurd nature of the whole thing but I feel like doing so might help me process my memories of it I knew that sharing the story anywhere else would be a dumb idea because people would say I was lying as I'm writing this this was the scariest experience of my life I'm Jack Nelson had a small job as a park ranger in a state park I was a fire lookout stationed in one of the largest forests in the Pacific Northwest. Miles and miles of dense forest managed by the Forestry Service. I had a salary that allowed me to make ends meet, but I couldn't afford to treat myself to restaurants, nice clothes, etc. My biggest accomplishment so far was being able to buy an RV for myself with a lot of financial help from my dad. That RV was the only sense of home I had at the time. This one time I was transferred from one outfest to another because of some official circumstances. It was a minor inconvenience to me though, since I lived down in my RV and liked traveling. I said, it could... I said a few goodbyes and I was off to the new location. It was about a two hour drive. Having lived in the, like, the Pacific Northwest now, I can tell you that there is some weird shit in the back end. Oh, Wazda to drive! Here we go. I'm wazda in it up. Okay, buddy. You got a nice, like, drivable RV. I'm here for it. Chill lo-fi. Gonna head into town. You can't text and drive! He's texting and driving. No, why? I forgot text messages were integral at this part. Uh, in this, uh, story. Good, I'm glad. Look, I'm doing my best. I did not hit the semi. I feel like that matters. I'm trying to watch chat and drive. I've always loved the great outdoors. Just being surrounded by nature give gives gave me happiness. Holy fuck. <laughs> I felt like I was at home in the woods. Okay, look. I'm going to I'm going to be safe and I'm going to pull off to the side of the road to answer this message. I remember there's this diner while passing Roseburg. They have the best burgers in town. You have to try them out. I could really use a good meal before the staffing starts. Thanks, Kay. Hello, greetings on food day. I saw the diner Kayla was talking about. Oh, so we're just gonna pull off and that's how it's gonna go. Should I park appropriately? I feel like I should be parking appropriately. I just come to you and fall back. All sad and then like sad and you shine in the sky. Yet I need you in the side. Did I as is correct? Should I be exploring? Oh, oh, oh god, okay. Hey buddy. Hey. Welcome to Twin River Diner. How are you doing today? Good, how about you? Feel free to take any seat you like. I'll be right with you. All right, thank you. Um, can, do you have something in the back that I don't have to fuck with anybody? Because that'd be cool. Cool. 
Oh no, I don't like this seat. I don't want to sit that way because I can't see anything. I'm gonna sit at this one. Oh, did I fuck up the game? Oh no! Am I, am I clicking wrong? Is that the problem? It is a pretty fancy diner, I'm not gonna lie. There we go, okay. All right, cool, now I can see. Excellent, love that for me. Good evening, I'm Barbara. Are you ready to order? Yeah. So what can I get for you today? Um, oh, shit. Give me the chicken nuggets! Very well, would you like anything to drink? Coffee. Perfect, anything else? That's it. Great, I'll bring the food out as soon as it's done. Just let me know if you need anything else. Sounds good, I appreciate it. I'll just chill. I've always had this habit of peeing before eating. Are you serious right now? <laughs> Bro, it's best if we... I spilled. You didn't give me any warning. I thought it was gonna be a cutscene. <laughs> Why are you peeing so much? <laughs> Stop! That was a lot of pee! <laughs> Why was there so much pee? Are you, is your bladder okay? <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> I was done with it. <laughs> Are you even gonna wash your hands? Okay, good. We're at least washing our hands. I feel better. And then he leaves the door open with piss. <laughs> with piss just like everywhere. <laughs> Homie, what are you doing? Yep. Consuming. I like how it's just a free floating meatball sandwich with chicken nuggets. I figured it'd be a while before I had a meal like this again. Eat the chicken nuggets. Eat. Eat them. Consume them. So did you end up going? How was it? I'm here. Still eating. This is so good. Isn't it, though? I don't feel safe. Hey, so I'm done. Told you, hee <laughs> hee. Food reminds me, you should send me that casserole. Do you enjoy the food? Yeah, it was great. Would you like to have anything else or should I get the check? Check, please. Okay, I'll be right back. Wow, yeah, I'm on my way home. Send you in a bit? Uh, sure, Kayla Nelson. Uh, not only did you piss on the floor, but you didn't even use the dip. This guy, this guy is cursed. He himself is cursed. Here's the check. Your total is... S what? I mean, okay, so hold on a minute, because I'm the type of person that tips extra. So, like, a 50% tip is a lot, but, like, she was really polite. I feel like, I feel like tipping 50% in this case is applicable, because, like, she was polite, she delivered things in a timely manner, she took care of the fact that I pissed on the floor. <laughs> Thanks for the generous tip. Yeah. Ooh. Hey, buddy. The mouth, the, the noise your mouth is making. Why? Why? How's that burger? Little piece of heaven. Place is pretty much my weekend spot. Yeah, okay. You new around here? New staffer. Oh, you must have heard the news then. What news? A few weeks ago, three kids went missing to the park. Been all over the news. What happened to them? No one knows. Official report says they got lost. A lot of people around here think something else happened. Something else? Rumor going around a creature got him. A creature? Oh yeah, you know, like Bigfoot or Goat Man. People say there's something like that living in the forest. Do you believe it? A lot of hikers and campers go missing in that forest. Some of them come back with stories you'd, you'd not believe. 
some of them never come back at all. Definitely better than the sound of you masticating on that burger, sir. Cool, love that. What a cozy little RV. Homie's got like a decent the bathroom door was strangely jammed. How do you not know your bathroom door? Are you kidding me? Why would you not force it open? I should have taken it easy. Bathroom's haunted. Oh god. Uh, I think I gotta go the other way. I never said it was gonna be like I look driving simulators for me are gonna be garbage right now. I'm not gonna lie to you. p.m. So, all right. So, hold on a minute. Let's talk about this. So, we've got... Oh, God. So, we've got a situation where there is potentially monsters, right? So, we have, like, the base level situ situation, if you will. We've got a situation going on. We don't actually know what's happening. We just know that it's questionable. And my dude is vibing. I don't know how much I trust it. I want to include the location of this park. But? But I don't want anyone seeking out the utter... I'm so sad. Utter horrors before I hit the sign. I trust it. Also, living in the Pacific Northwest, I want to know where he's talking about. Like, I feel like... Is this where I'm supposed to be? Bathrooms. <laughs> Shitter's haunted. I'm assuming this is where I'm supposed to be. Warning, parking by permit only. That's a weird noise, but okay. Iron Bark State Park, welcome, Gate D, Gold Creek Trail. So can I just like... The horror of the game being all the people under my trailer hitch. <laughs> True. Oh, fuck! Holy moly, you scared me! I thought you were one of them! You scared me! My lord have mercy. Anyway, can I see permit, please? I'm not a camper. I'm the new transfer fire lookout. Is that correct? I didn't know we were hiring this season. Hang on, let me check on that. Are you fucking for real right now, Billy Joe? Bro, fuck you. Okay, pal, you're good to go. You're staffed at Fire Tower 11. I apologize for the confusion. I was under the impression that the tower would be left unstaffed for a season, but here are your keys. Let me open the trail gate for you. Sir, you can kindly go fuck yourself. That was terrible. Since you're arriving this late, you might as well also need a flashlight for a long hike to your lookout. Thanks, Billy. You be careful. Take this. I don't really... Welcome to Iron Bark, pal. Now, for our purposes, when you get to your tower, be sure to make a fresh weather report from your system. Just so we know you clocked in safely. If you need be, you can reach out to Tower 12 during your staffing. Nice enough guy. He'll be your closest contact in case of any emergency. Thank you, Billy. 
You fucking asshole. I'm just gonna throw it at you. How about that? How's that? How's that, Billy? You like that light? Fucker. Hey. Just a piece of advice. Don't travel any further than a mile or so out north of your tower. Why? Dangerous woods that way, pal. Bobcast bears. Nasty business. Uh huh. See you around? I thought he was trying to scare me, but he looked dead serious. Switchback shortcut and destroys vegetation. Please pack out all trash. Lots of missing people. Nice. Alcoholic beverages prohibited. Hello, it's me. No, no bikes, only horses. Stay on the trail. I left my bag in the RV at first. No, I didn't. You just told me that. You didn't tell me you had a bag. What do you mean? Where, what bag? Oh. This is strange. I don't trust it. Cool. Good to know. Love that for me. 11.32 p.m. It was a long hike. It was starting to get cold. So you decided to do it at night? Like, this is your mistake, my guy. Tower 11, Lacey Trail, Cold Creek Trail. Oh look, it's my tower. Living in a fire tower is not a glamorous job. Imagine being out alone for weeks at a time. It's not for everyone. Utility shack. But I've always had a fondness for the outdoors. Oh. My hands were full. Cool, so I need to drop my bag? to start the generator. Great. Why are you doing all of this, like, at nighttime? I don't understand your thing here. Whatever gets you hard, but, like, not how I'd go about it personally. Once you're on top of the tower, it's your job to look out for fires or anything out of the ordinary cabin was filled with the aroma of wood giving me a sense of comfort. Alright. Um, cool. Great. So I can sleep. Um, radio equipment was sitting on a wooden tape. Oh, wow. Oh, this is cool. Start, starting Rainbow 98. Password, Tower 11. Check the Ironbark Rules Flyer. Okay. System password is Ironbark Tower Number. All right, so Ironbark 11. Ironbark 11. Hi. It does. It kind of does. I also feel like, like, Lucky Flannel Mark is somewhere in here, creeping around. Hello there. It's Smiley, your trusty virtual assistant, here to help you make the most of your computer today. Good evening, Tower 11. How's your day going? Surprise! You found me. How can I assist you today? Clickety-click. Here's a random fact for you. The Grand Canyon in the United States is not only breathtaking, but also incredibly cold. It's estimated to be around six million years old. Anyway, what is this? Oh, it's a, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. <laughs> Zombies, zombies, zombies. That's not what I meant to do. 
Welcome to the state of the art sir. Hello? New guy. I haven't gotten your name yet. What is it again? I'm Jack. I saw your light turn on. I gotta say, it's refreshing to see Tower 11 alive again. Who's this? I'm Connor. Fire Tower 12. Oh, hi, Connor. You're watching. Nice job. I've had to cover your area until you arrived. Anyways, what brings you to this towering paradise of ours? Uh, looking for a change, Connor. I'm a, I'm a transfer. Experienced comrade. I can see why Mitch picked you. Look, I'm really tired. Is fire going? No. Get her lit. The temperature is about to plummet. You don't want to sit through the storm shivering. Thanks, Connor. I was looking at... I... Okay. Um... Fire? Fire. I don't see the smoke. The wood stove should be around the entrance. Why are you like this, Connor? I'm doing... Connor, what... I'm trying to start a fire, Connor! What? No firewood. There must be plenty in the shack. That's all Marley did. Who the fuck is Marley? The snapper who was in the lookout before you. What happened to him? She was... Oh. One gritty woman. What happened to her? Anyways, you better get that fire going. You don't want to sit through the storm. My comment stands, Connor. Gasoline must be in your cabin. But if not, you can always grab your supplies from the storage shack. Great. So... Cool. Cool. Oh. What? What happened to the other lady? Did you report for the night yet? No. I'm... You're, you're stressing me out, buddy. I'm doing my best. Did you report for the night yet? No, Better let me get to it. it. You don't want to disappoint Mitch on your first night. Could you chill the fuck out? I'm doing my best. Temp, wind speed, weather, hikers. Okay, all right. Okay. Uh, temp. What is the temp? What is the temp? Temp, 46.7 degrees. All right, so the temp, 40, 46, 40, 46.7 degrees. Wind, wind speed. What's my wind speed? What is my wind speed? Where's my wind speed? speed. What is my wind speed? 20 knots. North, east, south, west. Fuck. Alright. 20, 20 knots. 20. Cloud? I don't know. Was there cloud? I wasn't looking. I should have been. Yes, cloud. Number of hikers. Zero. Me. I di I did. I did it. I did it. I wasn't sure if I'd put in the right weather condition. Wind? Clear? That's weird. Hey, copy, new guy. Tower Glad 11 copy. For the day. Okay. Tower 12, Do you want a cookie? Off. You have a good night, new guy. Thanks, Connor. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Thanks. Over and out. What else is on the computer here? Oh, nice. Okay. This is, this is the Iron Park State Trail 
park map. Whether you're planning a hike, assisting hikers, or just want to explore the park's beauty from the comfort of your screen, I'm here to help. Clickety click, here's a random fact for you. We read that. Cool, I don't want assistance. I feel... educated and weird. Is that bear spray? <gasps> okay. All right. Well, I feel like going to bed is accurate at this point, so we're going to do that. I love pizza compass, apparently. 3.26 a.m. This is disconcerting. Hello? Connor? I had to pee. Uh... On my first night, being out of my cabin gave me a strange feeling. Can I- can I pee off the edge? at the tower and he's just watching me piss off the other side like <laughs> no nah, I'm going back to bed fuck this shit should I I guess I should call for him no I'm going back to bed guys night two well that got weird real fast just you and the wind, and the time just melts away. It's beautiful, though. I like it. Take a photo. How far can I scroll? I wonder if that matters. Honestly, like, the coffee in the woods vibe, I totally understand it, though. I get it. I'd be that way. Same. Hey, guy. You copy? Sure, buddy. This is Connor from Tower 12. Do you copy? Can you calm down? I just had my coffee. God. What, Connor? Tower 11. Yeah, what's Son up? Of a bitch. Excuse Nobody me? Nobody bothers to get a camping permit these days anymore. Do you have eyes on the smoke north of your position? Let me have a look. North of my position, so... Yeah, I see it, but what about it? Yeah, okay, what about it? Yeah, yeah, I fucking do, Connor. What about it? Yeah, for real. What about that white smoke up north? It appears to be in the Lazy Trail sector, which is not a registered campsite. So go handle it. It's on your People side. Like that don't bother to clean up after themselves. Okay. Fire risks are high this season. Am I checking it out? I mean, I can. But, like, what do you want me to do, bud? I mean, I'm not really sure why you can't handle it, but up. I guess I'll take care of Don't it. Don't forget to carry your bear spray in these woods, new guy. Over and out. Okay. Bear spray. Great. I'm gonna turn my light on just in case. Caution! In area! Warning enough for me. 8.37 p.m. Followed the trail that led me to the smoke, and you didn't take a flashlight? 
<gasps> Wait, get back. Why would you not take a flashlight? That's dumb. No camp and violators will be... I love Jen. She gives the best head. All right. Weird. Pardon me. Pardon me. Excuse me. I have bear spray. Hello? Yeah, look. The... Look. Calm down. What is that obscure whistling? Oh, th that's not a knife. This is a knife. Hello? Trail closed. Do not enter. Step out here. Show yourself. The area beyond that site was closed. Can I just bear spray their fire? I feel like that's infinitely funnier. Can I take their shit? No. 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 Hello? Hello? No? All right. Well, I'm gonna go. The cool S. <laughs> you mean the 90s S? I think so. I knew I needed to put out the campfire before heading back to the tower. I don't see the reason for it, but okay. Cool. Personally, I think this is a load of horse shit, but okay. Smokey the bear would be disappointed in your behavior, sir. Great. Anyway. I think it's weird that the radio has feedback, but not my problem. 9.07 BM. As I hike my back, hiked back to my tower through the dark, I couldn't shake the sense that something was terribly wrong. My mind couldn't help but think what might have happened. I don't know, he was a dumbass hiker who did dumbass shit in the woods. Not my particular problem, but whatever. Headed up to my tower. Boop, 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 boop. Great. I had to report to Connor about the vacant campsite. Can I do that after I pick up my wood and start my fire? Hey, Nassin, how you doing? Definitely feel like I need to pick up my campfire first. This is integral. This is part of my procedure. They're fucking with my procedure right now, man. They took my firewood. How dare they? Those bastards. Nope, wait. Wonderful. Go ahead, light. What? What? Why? Why did we not light? Are we not gonna light? That's stupid. But okay. I guess, damn. Tower 12, do you copy? Well, Connor. Clear, new guy. I was just cooking myself some hot. Well, first, what's your status? Are you Campsite's kidding? weird. No. Son of a bitch. Okay. They never learn, do they? No, probably not. I'm sick of these bastards. It's unbelievable. Can you calm down and tell me what's going on? This is the third time this month alone. Okay, but that doesn't tell me what's going on. Anything else you notice in those woods? Uh, a scream I didn't actually hear. A scream? Must have been one of those red foxes. They 
sound pretty much like a screaming lady at night. It was manly. I don't know what you're talking about, new guy, but I heard from the rangers that a lot of campers have been flocking to that area lately because of the disappearance of those three kids. Kids went missing in that area? About a month ago. They were hiking with their families. They went off the trail and just vanished. No trace of them since. What does that have to do with campers? Well, people have started spreading rumors that the area might be haunted by some entity. Is it a werewolf? It's crazy, I know. You would think these rumors would scare people off, but apparently it's been the opposite. Give me the werewolf. Sometimes, I only wish they were true. Werewolf? Their wolf. Well, at least now you know why Mitch had to staff Tower 11. Urgently. Okay. I mean, that's really unsettling. You guy. I hope you don't believe those rumors. Do you? Should I? I mean, sure. Right. Anyways, thanks for staying vigilant. I mean, I have to. It's literally my job. I gotta Honor. contact the authorities so they can take care of this commotion first thing in the morning. We can't tolerate these goons anymore. Goons. If they find them, I'll personally make sure they never set foot in this forest again. Keep me updated, homie. Will do. Over and out. Over and out. I don't think that's gonna help, but okay. Guess I should do my log. 46.9... Twenty knots. Forty six point nine, baby. Twenty knots. Clear. One. Wait, no, zero. I didn't actually help anybody. Cloudy? I helped no one. Cool. Great. Anyway, what's a goon to a goblin? I feel like I'm just <laughs> shoving gasoline all over the place. It's not quite how you start a fire, but okay. Cool. Well, whatever works, I guess. Um, fuck. Well, I did my report. I did that. I did that. I guess I'm done? I was too hungry to go to bed without food. Um. Can I... How, how, how... I need to check the, the ingredients list? Am I supposed to pick up something else? What do you mean the ingredients list? At this point I was starving. I had to get all the ingredients Kayla's recipe. Oh, the casserole! Uncooked pasta, oh. Uncooked pasta, marinara, pepperoni, mozzarella cheese, diced tomatoes. Pasta sauce, pepperoni, cheese, tomatoes. Pasta sauce, pep, pepperoni, cheese, tomatoes. Pasta. Okay. It's bad. You there? I'm cooking dinner, Connor. Fuck. Oh my God, Connor. Connor. Do you want a cookie? Hope they can track them down and get some peace of their mind. Or they find them dead. Do you what? I think I'm gonna hit the sack now. Okay. I'm gonna eat dinner. I know it's been a tough day, but you're doing an excellent job up there. Thanks, Connor. Go over 12, signing off. Over and out. Over and out. Can I have my dinner? Perfect. I liked eating in bed. Okay, man, whatever gets you going. What a life this guy is living right now. I keep expecting something to be peering into the window. 
This man is eating an entire pizza cheese bake by himself like a goddamn... You know what? I would do it. It's fine. Where's my fridge? Let me just store it. I could have kept it in the refrigerator. I did. There. Great. Okay, wait. Okay. Wonderful. I'm gonna sleep with the light on. This is weird. <laughs> this whole thing is unsettlingly weird, but okay. 2.27 a.m. I was awoken by the feeling that caused my eyes to drift open. Hello? Where's my bear spray? Oh, there was something very strange about that night. Where's my bear spray? Wait. Wait, bear spray. Bear spray. Where's my bear spray? Um, um, um. Connor? Connor? Where's my bear spray? Where is the bear spray? Okay, here. Hello? 